Hello, Black Mage Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria with Omnir's mod pack and no bunnies. I said no bunnies. <laughs> and me, Blue Ankylo. So I'm trying out. Come on, seriously? <laughs> I'm trying out uh, the Black Mage uh, vanity set because uh, I don't have a whole lot of completed vanity sets, honestly. And seeing as we're already wearing black robes, I figured, hey, seems like that's a good idea. So, off camera, you remember when I finished. Hey, we match. Nice. <laughs> in the end of, at the end of last video, I was in the hallowed underground, just sort of spelunking away, and I managed to get a fair number of souls of light. So I believe, if I remember correctly here, I also have souls of flight from uh, wyvern spawning inside my bedroom. So, yeah, got a fair number of that kind of stuff. So I believe, thanks to my. Uh, exploration that I can make a new item the that's very important <laughs> so yes here we are angel wings uh, not enough for demon wings but we're good guys so let's stick with that now I don't know uh, mana flower or star power band which is more important I think I'll go I'll drop the, that for now I don't know I haven't really thought about accessories for a while I like being able to jump higher I like being immune to knockback especially um, running fast is important, and flying and not taking fall damage is really important. So it kind of only leaves me with one spare at the moment, but uh, it'll have to do. Uh, so there we are. Uh, I'm not really used to the angel wings, but uh, I'll have to play with them. We'll see how it goes. And uh, I've just got some junk that I should throw away here quick. Uh, quick stack. Good. All right. So um, let's show you stuff's happening out here so I'm gonna show you what's going on on this side actually yeah we'll be fine we'll be fine I want to start dealing with the corruption fairly soon because there's problems on going on over here bad bunny um, the good news is I think the corruption is gonna kind of be stuck by the cave or not no it's coming so it's gonna get to my house eventually so we're gonna have to deal with that fairly soon I think um, Maybe if I just buy some hallowed seeds or something, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this stuff. My brick, my little walls didn't work, so uh, that's bad. And I'll show you kind of where I came up from the underground, so I'll, I'll kind of show you where I explored. Yeah, that's going to start spreading, that's not good either. Yeah, the corruption's getting a little bit out of hand, or starting anyway. So how long can you fly? Can you just fly forever? I don't think you can fly forever, can you? Nah. All right, yeah, here we go. So I sort of decided to help the uh, hallow out a little bit because, well, these things in the air, it, it couldn't make it up. So I decided, hey, I can help it out a little bit. So I put a little dirt bridge so it'll connect up there, I believe. So I don't actually need this anymore. I just did this sort of temporarily so it would uh, help out. I suppose it probably would have been easier if I just bought some seeds, but eh. Uh, I think I did the same thing, yeah, over here. So that should uh, eventually head it towards the corruption and my house. Eventually, it'll just take forever and whatever. You know how things are. Let's just clean this up a little bit because it's kind of unruly. Anyway, so this is the hollow and it's starting to spread to the right slowly. But essentially, this cave is actually where I came up. So, so this is kind of cool. I guess I don't need really that. Um, haven't been this way like yet. I think this actually hooks up with the corruption in this direction. Yeah, underground corruption spreading from that. So we'll see who wins, corruption or hallow. <laughs> um, and, uh, Easterlings. Well, I don't think you're very strong against flare spells. Uh, anyway, so let's head underground. I actually, I'm, I'm doing pretty good with um, hollow materials. I think it's almost time to head to the corruption side and see what I can get on that side, but... Anyway, this is actually, I ended up connecting to this uh, cave, so I was I was pretty happy about that, because we never explored this one, really. And just from my underground exploration, I ended up coming up here. So I'll just head down briefly, sort of give you an idea of where it is. It did take quite a while to get through. So I was off camera for quite a long time, just trying to work my way up, but um, I don't know. I've been trying to collect some of these crystal shards. I don't know. Easterlings still, yeah. But yeah, we're already at the rock layer, and uh, yeah, you can kind of get the idea. Um, 
I had a couple Spelunker potions, so I did a little bit of, uh, no I didn't, never mind. I had no Spelunker. I just picked up, um, a fair bit of Cobalt and Mithril, so we're actually doing pretty good on that. Uruk Hai, yeah, there's lots of stuff from Lord of the Rings, that's, that's pretty cool. Eh, yeah, Cave Trolls. You got nothing. You got nothing on me, buddy. So yeah, oh, Uruk Hai Composite Bow. Somehow I don't think that's very good. I'll keep it for my collection, but, you know. I, I collect things. <laughs> uh, apparently this is not where I came from. Uh, I guess I could probably make my way down. And downwards, downwards. So I think one of the next things I'm going to do with my souls, now that I've got this, is I'm actually going to work on um, fighting some of the uh, hard mode bosses fairly soon, actually. Just because I want to see them. I've never fought them before. So, looking forward to that. Oh, I love these wings. This is this is going to make getting around so much easier. I just need a way to brighten it up now with light. Oh, look how fast you can get around. Apparently there's another cave here. Did I come through this? I don't know. I spent a bit of time exploring. Anyway, point is, I've done a bit of exploring on this side. Let's get out of here. And let's instead head Cruel Arrows. Huh. I've never even seen those before. Must be more interesting things from Omnia. Let's head to the left and uh, see if I can find some Souls of Night. I have a feeling I know where the corruption came up on this side. You remember where I said uh, there was a meteor and um, the corruption seemed to jump across it? I think that it did not jump across and that in fact it... Um, look, it's the Hagen Chief. Those are the guys you got to kill for dying water crystals. If you're on normal mode anyway. On hard mode, there's a couple other things, but... Still, they have a pretty low drop from what I was reading in the uh, files. So anyway, let's let's head on over this way quick. Speedy black robe, bl bl speedy black mage for the win. Oh, wings. Oh, I've been missing out for all these years, not having wings in Terraria. Uh, yeah, I got to kill some more UFO commanders. Unfortunately, they're still pretty rare. I see UFO commanders like. I don't know, it takes a couple minutes to see even one, and then they they don't drop the armor very often, so. Yeah, so I think that the corruption could not have jumped that, and I think this little batch here is actually the, where the extra corruption came when we smashed the, uh, uh, the thing, you know, the uh, wall of flesh. So what I want to do, actually, is just head down one of these pits and see if I can find a cave at the bottom. Um... So this might take a little while. Um, I probably actually would have been smarter if I just took my elevator and went to the left. I probably would have found it fairly quickly, but eh. I, I want to start from the, My hollow I started from the bottom and worked up, so this time I wanted to do it the other way around. So anyway, um, I'll probably cut while I'm doing my drilling here because this is not terribly interesting, I don't think. It doesn't go that slow, but... Anyway, I'll let you know once I hit a cave, so see you guys in a little while. Okay, well, this is actually quite interesting. Um, remember when I said there was no underground corruption area on this side of the map, uh, or in this first area? Looks like I was completely wrong. So I found a, a couple more things to smash. Might as well smash them. And there's actually more, so let, let's go do this on camera, because maybe something interesting will happen, you never know. So there actually was a little baby underground corruption near my house on the left side. Um, and there's even a shadow orb, so I might as well pick that up. Why not? So, except that I'm uh, dying again. Funny how easy it is to die on hard mode. Wow. All right, heal yourself up. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have that cure tome. <laughs> Get out of here, you shades. You guys are pain in my neck. Aren't you glad I made my adamantite drill? Oh, I did pick up, yeah, quite a lot of uh, cobalt and mithril, if I didn't mention that. I didn't get very much adamantite, but uh, can't win them all. A musket, oh boy. Let's just mm -hmm. junk it. And should I destroy that one too? Might as well. The more chance for precious metals, the better. That's the way I see it. Down, down, diggity dig, dig. It's 
So yeah, here we are. Cobalt again, eh, no big deal. There actually might be more stuff over that way, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think we've got enough of the special metals without needing to really stress about this kind of stuff. I'm um, trying to decide the quickest way to get over to some sort of cave or other. Uh, I, th I can see stuff glowing over in that direction. Or though, is it faster to go this way? Ooh, that's a lot of skeletons. Alright, let's go get them. Let's go kill us some skellies. Uh, and I always say I want iron, didn't I? I always say that. Death! Death, death. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alright, I see a cave. I see a cave. Sweet. And something is exploding crazy stuff over there. What do we think we find this time? Oh, we found a drowning blue ankylo. That's important. Can't forget that. All right, let's let's head down to this open area, and then maybe maybe I'll get over there and figure out what's blowing everything up. Come on, dig, dig, dig. There we go. All right, let's just head over there. The drill should make pretty short work of all this stuff, I think. Ah, lovely drill. This is how you should mine. We can fly, we can mine. Well, we can fly, we can super drill, that is to say, I guess. What other cool upgrades should we get? <laughs> Alright, so. I'm pretty sure... Yes, underground corruption. That's what I've been looking for. And what am I doing with a spear? The spear is no good anymore. It's all about flare. And being very dark. Gotta get some spell that fixes that. Alright. More Uruk highs, eh? Sure picking up a lot of junk today. Oh, yeah, I got Soul of Nights, good. Cursed flames, cool. More stuff that I don't know what I can do with. I'll keep the iron, get rid of this stuff. I actually don't want any more cobwebs at the moment. I don't want more boring he healing potions. Got a lot of stuff already. Chains, no big deal. All right, cruel arrows. Yeah, I was gonna hold on to those just cause. Uh, there's, holy smokes, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I was kind of thinking with my armor basically, that it doesn't seem to matter if you have like 58 armor or 40 and that's kind of the difference between the sets, the super sets. So um, I figured it's kind of smarter to just go with whatever kills stuff the fastest because I'm not actually going to save myself very much damage um, by using the uh, crystal armor for instance. Okay, I'm not exactly in the uh, the corruption that I was thinking I was in. Uh, I guess I need to go over the rate a little bit better. Let's just uh, let's just go through this wall. Maybe we can maybe we can hook up without too much trouble. There we go. Look at this big baddies. What am I doing with that spear? Massacre them with the spell of death. I think if I was smart, I still would have brought some spelunker potions, but I forgot. I, st I still would like more adamantite and stuff specifically. Okay, try to keep it bright for you guys. That's kind of a nice thing for me to do, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure you would approve being able to see what's going on. Alright, cool. Underground corruption. Unfortunately, it's kind of going to be a pain to get around. Just having to dig through everything like this. Anything to dig to nearby? Yeah. Not quite as good of a cave as I, as I was hoping for. Mind flares. Please don't flay my mind. <laughs> yeah, the old mind flares of Final Fantasy. They were pretty dangerous back in the day. Alright, here we are. Is this a good cave? What do you guys think? Not that great. Well, I'm kind of a little bit unimpressed here. Well, there's more stuff up there. Well, you know what? I, I've, I've kind of changed my mind. Um, I'm going to head down to the hell. Well, maybe not. This is 
I was thinking of heading back to the hell level and just going to the left down there instead, but... What? I couldn't attack. Dumb hammer. Not letting me attack for a second now. Alright. Maybe this will open up. Come on. It didn't open up. Well, fine then. If you're not going to open up, then I'm just going to give up. I will meet you guys back down my elevator. <laughs> See you in a second. Alright, folks, just jump down my elevator and I'm going to head to the left till I find the underground corruption. Because I'm pretty sure to some distance over this side we'll find it where it um, has broken through, I think. Isn't that how it works? Right here! Surprises! It was barely any... Ow. I'm still not immune to lava. I'm, I'm going to need to work on that, actually. Being immune to lava could be nice. Um, I'm kind of thinking, though, that I want to kill some stuff down here quick. Because I was getting I was getting new armor from these guys. Um, or something. Maybe it was the de ancient demons or something. So, um... Ah, get out of there. No, no, no. Okay, that... I still have to be careful, though. Actually, there's another thing that I forgot about, too. I kind of should farm the, uh... The wall of flesh. Um, I should have brought down another voodoo doll, actually. I haven't killed him with... Uh, with flare yet. I've only ever used um, my melee that first time. And he drops lots of different stuff, right? So all I ever got from him was like the the pwn hammer and the laser gun, the laser rifle. So um, I might have to kill the, the uh, wall of flesh a couple more times. I forgot about that. Burn. And I got an ancient giant sword. Do I? I think I already have one of those, actually. So no big deal. Uh, bricks, bricks, no big deal. Anyway, let's let's try to head up to the corrupted area. Yeah, I think actually I might do that in this episode if I have enough time. I might uh, try and uh, yeah, this looks like good underground corruption. Come on, connect up to a nice big cave so we can get some new stuff. This is not connecting up to a nice big cave. Don't you guys disobey your blue inky little boss. Now look, some mithril. Oh, sure. You can't turn down mithril, not yet. And what's exploding down here? Another iron giant. Oh, there we go. World feeder. Cool. Dark Knight armor. Nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that finishes the set. So uh, now I have something to make soon. Maybe next episode I'll show off that different vanity set. Uh, yeah, ideas. Um, still looking for a way up into this corrupted area. The hollow opened up quite nicely, actually. Like, when I went in there to uh, explore the hallowed area, I didn't have to dig through a whole lot of walls. I managed to find lots of big caves and stuff. So I could get, um, well, you know, just, just get started, basically. Well, this is a silly, what is that? Like, four pieces of cobalt? All right, here we go. Maybe this is it, maybe this is it. Oh, I don't have to worry about fall damage anymore, do I? Finally. Ah, uh, that's great. Alright, so it looks like I was here before it turned corrupted. Maybe this does open up. If I've been here before, maybe I've, uh, maybe I've played with the land a little bit. Alright. Anything interesting in the underground corruption? After, uh, hard mode? Another evil eye! Well, that, that didn't last very long. I know I, I need lots of souls of night, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I need souls of night and souls of light. So I've got to spend a bunch of time sort of underground, just killing stuff. Um, I want to try out some of the new spells from... Well, new spells, but, you know, the just the hard mode spells that you need all this stuff for. Because I haven't used them all, and I don't want to... Well, I mean, I'm sure they won't be as good as... Uh, flare here, but I don't want to be stuck using this all the time. I want to I want to try to use some different spells if I can. Um, or maybe I'll find a way to use weapons that are 
a little bit more efficient. Ah! No, no, no. No, no. Ooh, not good. Heal up. Okay, that was a little bit silly. Almost killed myself there. <laughs> cobalt again, yeah. I actually don't really need very much cobalt or mithril, so I'll, I'm only picking this up because it's right in front of me. Um, I think I actually have at least two stacks of cobalt and mithril ore, um, not the metal bars, but the actual, just the ore, because I was thinking I might make some bricks out of it to play with for my castle, but, um, I dropped a bunch in the lava, you know. So what are these things? Clingers? Yeah. Cursed flames, what can you make out of that? Anything useful? <laughs> Must be right on the edge of the corrupted, the underground corruption here. And getting further away from it going this direction. Oh, three! Man, that's not very nice. I want more than three adamantite at a time. Adamantite has still been quite rare for me, to be honest. I found a f some, but I definitely don't think I could make a full set of adamantite armor yet. Whereas I know I could do it for cobalt and mithril fairly easily. Alright, so, uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna dig around the corruption here for a little while. Uh, I'll start recording again if anything interesting happens. And failing that, uh, maybe I'll see you for a couple Wall of Flesh battles, because I think I've got a couple voodoo dolls, uh, guide voodoo dolls sitting away in my house, so I might as well put them to good use. Or at least one of them, I guess, the guide has to respawn, you know. Anyway, uh, see you guys in a little bit again. Alright, folks, just figured I'd let you know that during my travels, I, uh, I found an old friend. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to record the whole one again, because it's going to be the same sort of deal, where I hide up here and try to stay alive, and rain down flare on him, because he's very tough. Um, okay, I can I can sit here and soak up some damage. This works. Um, that's a lot of demons, though. Isn't that flare spell great? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else you'd do this. It would just take so long to do melee. I mean, he still actually hits me pretty hard, even like this. I mean, I can heal through it, I think, but, uh... Ow, something hit me really hard. Must have been, like, one of those death rooms or something. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna finish this guy off, and then I'll, I'll record again once I've got some loot out of him. And then I think I'll head back to, uh, my house, because as you can see, I've got loads of ore. I've been doing real good, actually, so. Uh, any night, uh, souls? Where are my souls of night? Yeah, I've got a few. I'm getting there. Anyway, I'll see you once this guy's dead. Alright, folks. So I, I killed him. I killed the ancient demon lord again and his little cohorts. And I don't think I got anything particularly great this time. So let's just head back home. Um, I can't remember. There's I think it's the magic plate armor set that I'm missing. And I keep getting ancient demon and ancient golden. And I think I've already got those sets completed. So let's just have a quick look-see down here, just to make sure I'm not crazy. Uh, let's see, this chest... Okay, no, I still need the Ancient Golden Hat, so that's coming along. And I need the Ancient Dragon Scale Set. That might be from actual dragons, for all I know. And then the Ancient Magic Plate, I know I got that. I'm pretty sure I got one of those from the Demon Lord the first time I killed him. And that one looks like it might be a pretty awesome set. But I do have Ancient Demon, which isn't bad. It doesn't have the best magic stats compared to what I'm currently using, but it's not bad. 25% um, movement is better than 5, so it would, would help me move around a bit faster. I haven't really given too much thought yet, so... Anyway, I've got some stuff, and I do have, I believe, yeah, the full Dark Knight set. Nice! And... Uh, I picked up a few statues while I'm there. So anyway, uh, I figured I'd show you my ore collections. See, I look at this. I got so much cobalt and mithril. I'm going to just uh, smelt these. Uh, probably going to smelt the majority of the adamantite as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty good supplies on my stuff. Uh, over 99 bars of cobalt. Well, 
far more actually because I've got so many ore. Um, I'm keeping a few like that just in case I want to make, uh, like I said, bricks or something. Although I don't think you can make adamantite bricks, so it's not as big a deal for those. I don't think. Anyway, 59. It's coming along. I'll, I'll make some stuff out of that later. For now, I'm just going to hold on to it. Um, and I do want... Oh, whatever. I don't want to... I do want to um, sort my inventory a little bit, and then I'll be back again. Another cut, I know. Uh, and we'll go fight the Wall of Flesh once, or probably just once, because I think you can't fight them twice in a row. you got to wait for the, uh, the guide to respawn. So, Anyway, I'll be back once I finish sorting my inventory. All right, I think I'm ready to go here. Didn't take too long, really. Uh, I just wanted to show you one more difference. I did actually, if you saw this up here, I actually found an ancient demon shield, which is my highest defense shield I've found yet, and I'm sure it came from the ancient demons. So 75, that's um, pretty significant. But I kind of like the idea of my shield, my Genji shield with 63 defense that makes you immune to status effects if you're using it, I assume. So I think I'm just going to hold on to the Ancient Demon shield for now. I mean, a little bit more defense is nice, but as we've seen, the value of your defense, the, the number value, doesn't seem to make the biggest difference uh, on hard mode, because things just do so much damage. Anyway, now I have two Voodoo Dolls left, Guide Voodoo Dolls, um, and I'll probably want to get some more actually, so in between episodes I might spend some time down in Hell just killing... Uh... Oh look, look! Friends, let's uh, let's kill this guy. Ah, yeah. I'm still hoping this guy drops something interesting eventually. But anyway, um, is that another one? Another one! Wow, it's ancient dragons galore. <laughs> they seem to mostly drop these plate helmets that are junk, but uh, they're sure trashing my stuff up pretty well. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, I might try to get. Wow, that's a lot of cobalt. That must have been from our latest batch of uh, demon altars. Okay, I interrupted myself again. Um, that's really odd too. Oh well, never mind. Um, I'll probably need some more voodoo dolls. So after uh, after fighting him, after fighting the wall of flesh this time, or whatever, off camera, I'll try to get some more. That's what I was trying to say. Anyways, let's do this with flair. Uh, Throw the doll into the lava, please. There we go. And see how this works. We haven't actually fought him with magic yet, so bam. Oh, that wasn't so good. There we go. Sploosh. I didn't even bring any potions this time. Oh, he's already dead. Is that like three shots? <sighs> Silly. That was that was way too easy. <laughs> Okay, what do we get? Do we get anything good at least? We get the Brisk Warrior Emblem. More melee damage. Well, that's not a bad idea. 15% um, more is not a bad. I wonder how much stuff this guy drops, because uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any problem killing him with the Flare spell though, definitely. Wow. That spell is just crazy. So anyway, I'll have to wait for the guide to come back before I can really... Uh, play with that uh, wall of flesh anymore and uh, this this guy is kind of tough plague smith right yeah well I got him um, anyway so yeah I'll probably wrap the video up here for now I mean we're doing pretty good I'm gathering up various souls and cursed flames and magic pixie dust and all that um, and I think, yeah, I'll try to fight the Wall of Flesh a couple more times, or maybe I'll maybe I'll fight him on camera, I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I'll definitely want to get all the stuff you can get from him. And getting around hell... Oh, that's one of those things. i got to kill these guys. I probably should bring a battle potion. That'll make it easier. Yeah, i got to find those with the dolls. Anyway, yeah, like I said, wrapping up the episode, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, have a good day. See you guys later.